Welcome back to another video traders and if you're new to the channel welcome to charting trends for trading options we got a great video for you today but before we get into that make sure you like this video and subscribe and be sure to let me know what you think about this video in the comments guys I read all the comments so if you have a question or a comment any feedback is appreciated and if you want to request a stock for me to do a video on I'll probably do it as well so let me know what you think in the comments guys and let's get into the video all right, first I'm gonna go over a few stocks from earlier this past week, and then there's a couple from earlier in February. So QuantumScape is the first one, QS. The video for this one came out on February 16th. So this day right here, we closed around 50.71. On Friday, we closed just above the uh, 62.30 or 40 level here. We're up to 62.82. Uh, 6284 in after hours action so we're up a solid 12 points since I made this video it's a pretty nice little move we had a high of 7197 this was on Thursday uh, coming up to this level there's definitely expected a little bit of resistance so not totally surprised there but it's nice to see that after coming down we had a couple of solid bounces here and it seems at least for now we're holding this support here at this level, 62.27. We also have a little bit of a support at this level down here below, 55.19. All right, the next one on the list is Magnite, M-G-N-I. This video came out on February 17th, where we closed around 56.08. And in after hours on Friday, we came up to 59.05, so a decent little move. If you remember from the Magnite video, I was talking about breaking this downtrend, and what we really needed to see was a con confirmation above this 58.5 level. So I'm not going to call this confirmation just yet, uh, but we did test it and then eventually break above it just into close, and in after hours we're holding up. So that's good to see. This is still our pivot, though. We need to hold this level to see more upside on Magnite. That's 58.5. But it is nice to see it looks like we have broken this downtrend. So that's the first sign of the shift in momentum here for Magnite. Good to see on this one after only a couple of days. DNN, Denison Mines, next one on the list. So this video I only did on Thursday. That was February 18th. So we's only, we've only had one day of action since then. And we're still kind of consolidating into this support here. We did have this one long candle here at the open where we came down and tested the 115 level. It's nice to see that we bounced very quickly, a big long wick candle here that shows that there's a lot of support, a lot of buyers around this level. So that's good to see. And really, honestly, for for this one, you know, I've I've I have equity just because it's so cheap. So I'm comfortable holding this for as long as I need to um, and as long as we hold this level I certainly I, I'm not going to even think about selling so we're still uh, holding the greater uptrend here and like I said as long as we hold this 115 level I feel very good about uh, DNN so I mean we've only had one day of action like I said we're still kind of coming in bouncing off of the support so we'll see what happens next week still feel very good about DNN all right, this is Salesforce CRM. This video I did on February 3rd, so a little bit earlier in the month, but this is only my second recap video. I covered all the stocks from last week and the previous one, so I had to go back a little bit earlier in the month to find some other ones. Um, so CRM, we talked about this on the 3rd. It had broken the downtrend here, but it had yet to uh, reclaim this growth trend line. We closed right around 234.74 on that day. And uh, after I was on Friday, we were at 246.25. So a, a, a nice little move, certainly a lot slower than I might have hoped for over 19 days. Um, but it's up about 11 points or so, 10 and a half points. We saw a high of 251.23. So definitely has room to go higher. I still think this one is a little bit undervalued. I mean, some of these volume candles tell a, a little bit of a story here there's there's certainly more to come and the market obviously the past three four days very very choppy so I mean just holding up for now that's good to see and we do have a support level here at uh, 241.05 so 
Still like CRM. I think there's more to come on that, holding this uptrend. All right, last one that we're talking about is the Trade Desk, TTD. We did this video on February 2nd. We had just broken the downtrend here, and looks like we closed on that day around 8.31.46. And after hours Friday, we came up to 9.05. So pretty, pretty good move there, almost 75 points over the course of a couple of weeks. We saw a high on Friday of 9.21.12. So... I mean, TTD, as I said in the video before, when it moves, it makes big moves. So it was kind of just sitting here above the support line for a while around 848. Actually dropped back down with the, the choppy market and the pullback that we saw on Wednesday and Thursday. And then after a solid earnings report opened up on Friday and just shot straight up about 70 points before settling in around 905. Still like TTD. You know, above this level, and and certainly after a strong earnings report, I think there's more to come, and it's starting to look like they're the clear winner in this space. So, who knows? We'll we'll see what happens with this one, but still bullish on it for now. Nice move out of TTD. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one as well. And let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section, please. If you have a question or a comment, I'll definitely get back to you. I read all the comments. And if you want to request a stock for me to do, I'll probably do it as well. Also, if you like my analysis, check out my second channel, Charting Trends for Tesla, where I do Tesla analysis daily as well. If you follow Tesla, you definitely want to check that one out. Thanks for watching again, and have a great night, guys.